Piggy Penguins! This is Nico B here to check out the latest Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. Uh, now, some of you probably don't even know that I actually uh, have gotten a bit into Animal Crossing. Um, it was actually pretty recently. You guys might remember back when I was removing, uh, I was uh, talking about uh, checking out the mobile game and asking if you guys wanted to like join me because I was like, hey, this game's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I got I got into it for a while and uh, it, I thought it was uh, pretty enjoyable. But honestly, I haven't really checked out any of the previous games in the series, even though I, I do kind of get the idea. I know the gist of what they're about, you know, uh, based on real time. You get to meet friends, uh, do a bunch of uh, stuff to help improve your town, uh, help out your pals, uh, meet new people. Uh, things like that and you know I had never really checked it out before the mobile game before but I, I do want to check out this uh, new and latest game that's gonna be coming out here in this next month um, and it's my plan to actually live stream this alongside uh, one of my moderators uh, Evie who was actually a massive fan of this game she's played I think every one of these games in the series and knows a lot about it so she'll be there to help fill us in on that sweet sweet lore <laughs> but i did really want to check out uh this one i'm hearing a lot of great things from people about uh, apparently this direct because this actually came out earlier and i i was like now nah, i'm not getting up that early I'm, I'm watching this after the fact because i don't think we haven't really gotten too many like uh, big details about it other than you know the fact that you can now harvest materials craft stuff and basically build a town from the ground up which i think sounds really cool it sounds really fun now like i said i haven't played like all of the games right so there's always a possibility that i might end up reacting to something and be like oh that's so cool or something but that's something that they've already had in every other game in the previous series so i apologize ahead of time please forgive my animal crossing ignorance <laughs> Now, if you're wondering who's my personal favorite villager in Animal Crossing, uh, it's Bob. <laughs> I really like Bob. He's just got, he's got the memeiest fucking like stoned looking face at all time. Bob looks like he's ready to fuck every day and I love him for it. Also, I'm a big fan of Goldie. I think Goldie's adorable. So those two better show up in my fucking town. I swear to God, if they don't. But anyway, so this, uh, this is pretty hefty direct actually. It's a whole 30 minute, 30 minutes long. So, uh, I look forward to seeing what, uh, cool nifty stuff we can do. So, uh. Let's give it a look-see. Hello, Tom Nook. Greetings to everyone watching our Animal Crossing New Horizon Direct. Uh, actually, I don't know. What a great voice I would give him. Hey, the thing is, everybody has that just kind of like, da -la 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 -la, you know, talking voice. He's kind of a sle sleazy, grimy kind of guy, though, right? I mean, he's always, he's always getting your fucking money. So I'll probably give him like an ace voice. So very glad to welcome you all to this information session. You see, this year on March 20th, our long-awaited deserted island getaway package begins departure. My company, Nook Inc., has prepared a special move for the occasion. Deep dive in deserted island life, or movie. There's so much we want to share. We've had to divide into three separate parts. Holy fuck. Okay. Part one is refresher on our getaway package. Reminder of what we shared so far. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So we're going to see some... Part two will cover future development plans. Part three will answer some frequently asked questions. And part three, DLC. Ah, oh, fuck. So without further ado, let's start part one. Yes. Okay, it's fine. I haven't really... To be honest, I haven't... Checked out some of the... Uh... ...choosing the Nooking Deserted Island Getaway Package. <laughs> This is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can Which recommend with captions? confidence. Your That's auto-generated. Yeah. island where it's the little things that count. I haven't watched some of the like coverage the of this game in a while, so. Oh, that's uh, it's a bunny, a little bunny. Oh wait, no, that's and simply enjoying life. No, that's <laughs> that's FNAF. I like that little bunny though. Since we're nearing departure. It's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. So seriously, it looks like when you're actually cutting trees, though, it looks like you can't actually cut the tree down. You just knock stuff like wood off it, but it never falls. Okay. Ooh, airplane. Upon arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's bounty. When applying for the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish to move to. Oh, that's wide cool. Range of options. That's Would you like neat. to live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Really? Don't worry. No matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the four oh, seasons have that's to offer neat. right from your island. Your departure date is scheduled for March 20th. <laughs> That's, That's cute. I like that. The atmosphere will just be warming up for spring. Departure date. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full This actually bloom. all seems new to me. Unless I'm just missing out on some shit. 
<laughs> oh gosh, the cottage. Sunshine brings its own share of delights. Oh, it's a flamingo. A wealth of lush greenery, not to mention a veritable treasure trove of bugs native to the island. Ba -ba! Come autumn, the color of the leaves on the trees will gradually change, and so too will the activities available to you. The ginormous From apples. Seeds and mushrooms to gathering autumn leaves. Ooh. And in winter, the island transforms into a Pretty. chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities are a jolly good time. <laughs> a little Rambo there, he's lifted the weight. <laughs> oh, there's that penguin. As you can see, I think that was Mary. I think that was the cat that Evie likes. Activities available to you change along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island is such a great setting for your new life. Not long after your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. <laughs> Teach you how to play. This will be the At tutorial time, of the game. You'll be provided with a tent included in your getaway package. You can chat with other residents about where you want to set up your new home base. It's a simple thing, but that idea of like, you know, like. Like you're actually taking a big trip somewhere and you get all these care packages and stuff. Not sure where to it's move. very cute and very satisfying. I like Cherry too. She's she's cool. She's kind of a Hopefully, kind of a gothy, sassy puppy and I like it. Pretty fun. Although you're moving to a deserted island, you're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. And none of them are a bathroom. God damn it. Visit this tent in the plaza to access Residence Services, which is here to support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day, providing <laughs> residence Tom services never sleeps. such as the sale of everyday goods. Okay. Cool. The purchase of unwanted items. You better have the bells, bitch. And helpful advice about living on a deserted island. And by attending our free DIY workshops, you'll learn how to craft a variety of items. First, just learn the DIY recipe. Then, choose what to make. Ah. Uh, neat. <laughs> you made a crafting table and with four blocks you of wood. It. It's ready. As you can see, with enough recipes Yeah, since right you never actually get rid of it though. You can build a plethora of wonderful things, even on a deserted island. Whoa! You'll enrich your life with your own hands. It's cool, yeah. You seem to, so like you manually move stuff around now. Are you experienced with DIY? I assume crafting? the other games weren't like that, but. Well then, stop by our customization workshop. Kind of going off the really you can just learn the skills like changing the color the of your game. DIY furniture or decorating them with your own custom designs. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Ah, yeah. Change my bed sheets. Woo! Making the tools and furniture you need by hand is of vital importance on the deserted island. It's our wish that oh you my God, look at that. DIY skills by taking advantage of our workshops. <gasps> I, got, I can make myself a pizza. Airport. Welcome to the airport, where you'll first land on the island. I wonder if he uses to fly to other islands too. For use year round, 24 hours a day, beginning the day after your arrival. <laughs> like a little working uh, the bird. Airport, you can use the Orville. or local wireless yeah. to invite residents of other islands to yours. And you can also travel to and visit other islands yourself. That's cute. In this way, up to eight people, including you, <laughs> chasing each other, give an island at one time. Feel free to get a good group together and make some memories. Aww. That was the fun. The is good for more than trips through the sky. It also offers an in-game postal service, <gasps> allowing you to send messages. Feel free to use this service to interact with other residents. Hello. That's cool. Will this be your That's really first neat. time living somewhere so remote? On a deserted island, no less? Don't worry. Here He's here for you. Ways He's here to, to charge you with ludicrous amounts of bells. With your new surroundings. You're starting a new life. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. 
No need to worry. Radio? A lantern. Of these, the true standout is your specially built Nook phone. Oh, sweet. It has the standard apps, like a camera and we map. Hit, so Nook can track you at all times. We will provide new applications to support all your deserted island needs. I love the style of this At game. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Oh my Nook, God, really? will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents. Hello, everyone. It is your overlord. The latest on important island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Lend me your ears, dirty peasants. Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island, we're offering <laughs> guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. Great for when you're looking to participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. Like your long-term goals? Yeah. That's cool. And you earn, earn stuff through those. And as you have these experiences, you'll build up miles, like so. Yeah. That's cool. I like the that. The miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in So almost mobile gaming, but like in a good way and not like services. something that seems to require premium currency. I'm hoping there's nothing too mobile gaming in this. In-game Nook Inc. merchandise to helpful items that can enrich your time on the island. From the looks of it, it doesn't seem to be, though. To the most out of every day, try collecting I will say, as much as I was enjoying the Animal Crossing Mile mobile game, program. it got pretty damn greedy. <laughs> Further I went in, I realized, New I was like, ooh, here for you, but pretty remember, greedy. The island is very much deserted. And so I like how the trees get wet from the rain. To talk about some possible hitches you might encounter. Oh, okay. Solutions. This is one nature-rich island. It's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects. Bees, bees, oh, oh my god, a scorpion? Fuck. If you get stung, you may end up somewhat irritated. What the fuck? Seriously? Oh, Holy god! god! Oh my god. Did you come across one you don't What? Oh, is that? Did I just straight if you fucking get stung, die? You may end up somewhat irritated. Or worse. Or worse. Dead. Fucking dead. You can die in this game, guys. Holy shit. Ding! Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, ah! try not to push your luck and consider retreat. Run the fuck away! Symptoms can be cured with medicine available at Ow, distant services. Fuck. Oh, I'm okay. And we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Nighttime on the island can get a little dark. Oh, it's You're the wolf guy. Own, and you never know oh, that's really cool. That's there. so pretty. Please be careful when taking Mushroom lights. The getaway package ah. promises a little adventure. So oh my god, it's a boo! Think about it, this is actually a plus. Wait, what? You're Sorry, what? When taking a late night stroll. The getaway package promises a little adventure. So, if you think about it, this is actually a plus. Yeah, okay. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway from time to time. That's that guy. Luckily, rescue is simple. First, give them a holler to make sure they're right. doing okay. They He's dead. Company until they wake up. Please offer so all always take your furniture you away. They're relying on you to make it home. Yum yum yum. Get up. Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. Okay, so you're. So you do. It does seem like you have a very limited, finite space, though. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to tell, though, exactly how large this square is. But you do just have like a finite space, uh, unless maybe you can expand the island. Maybe, like, expand how how far out it goes. Doesn't sound like good, but might run, like you might run out of space really easily, though. Otherwise, in situations like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. Ah! <laughs> the guy just doesn't know what he's doing. Rangers, go! I'm gonna die! Oh God! Given the Cute. services we've introduced so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, yeah. we will offer a number of optional extras. Ooh. 
DLC. Ah, oh, I got. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you: building a house. Building a no house. Is no deadline, no interest, and no assessment. Oh and God, not eight thousand. Without applying for one, you can pay it back at your own pace. Tom, look though, if you, if you don't pay him back, offers so much more space. Breaking a kneecap. To start with has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. Jesus. That way, everything's nice and tidy. You get to be your very own interior designer, setting up the walls and flooring however you like. I got really music. the most out of living there. We've made it easy for you to change patterns Ooh. at any time, as you can see here. Oh, okay. Inside your house, lifting. you can move with a cursor. Bringing you up to focus on redecorating while viewing the room as a whole. <laughs> you. Hello. I see you. If you <gasps> Got a bird. House, we can also offer you additional extension oh, and modeling services. Big house. Whatever your situation, we have appropriate plans available. So please don't hesitate to ask. <gasps> oh God. Them. Tom's like, what if it could be even bigger? More money, more bells. Giving me your bells. Your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours huh. differs each time and depends on how the pilot is feeling. They're mystery tours, so to speak. These far off destinations are small oh. deserted islands full of trees and flowers. Of course, you can take many items back home with you. Oh. DIY materials. Oh, you can't cut the tree down. It's a nice change of atmosphere, and you may experience some unexpected encounters. Oh, uh, you can like invite people. What is it? it seems like it's gonna be a limited Your amount of room, though. Tours will prove to be one of our most popular services. Ooh! To many repeat customers. <gasps> oh God, spiders! I'm in Australia now. Yeah, fuck that. Translate. I'm getting. I'm getting the shit out of there. I'm like, take me home. With our package plan, up to eight people can live on one island. Jesus Christ! What is all that fine print? Up to eight Nintendo account holders can live on the same island within each game. Within one Nintendo Switch system. And one game, up to four of those Nintendo account holders can play on the same island at the same time. Additional accessories require. With additional accessory, additional systems and games, up to eight players can play on the same island at the same time via local wireless. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> eight systems or online play. Nintendo Switch online membership and Nintendo require for, require for online features. Not available in all countries. Internet access required for online features. Booga, 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 booga. Okay. So yeah, I saw this before that there's only really like one island per like system or something which isn't that big a deal to me personally but i know that might bother some people who probably want to like it's like i want to i want to mix things up uh but personally i mean that's fine with me as long as i get to go see my friends provided only to those islands with multiple residents is called party play with this way to play you can call up other residents who oh. live on the same island as you, allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together at the same time. Cool. Whoever calls the others is the leader, making the others the followers. The bitches. <laughs> they can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can spend time together. As you can see, it's easy to change out the assigned leader. That way, followers can quickly take turns doing what they want to do, hmm. even if it's just a little shopping. I see, because the camera has to follow you around, right? This is for local. Features or other items found by followers will be stored in a recycle box at the Resident yeah. Services building. Please make sure to stop by and pick them up later. We are developing a web service within the Nintendo Switch oh, God. app for real-world smart devices. It's called Nook Link. Yeah. As an example, the service lets you scan QR code patterns of custom designs. With such a tool, 
you can use your smartphone's camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or oh Animal my God, Crossing really? Home Designer games. And then download them via Nook Link. Oh my God. Oh, that's actually really cool. I was getting a little you nervous there. I was online. like, you can talk with owners of Animal Crossing New Horizons and the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app using your smartphone as a keyboard or for oh voice Lord. chat. Continuing their online services though, when they talk, it's like regular online Nintendo shit. Is planned to launch in March of 2020, soon after the scheduled departure included in your deserted island getaway. Ah, uh, so not, not releasing at the same time as the game though. Enhance your experience on the island. That's cool though. You're gonna see probably a lot of penises. <laughs> well, the night you've seen part one. Are you interested in relocate, relocating to one of our desert, desert islands? How's this part one? Seriously? Imagine with me on the grand potential. No. Destined future that awaits us all. <laughs> well, part two, please. It all seemed pretty new to me. May, or may this, maybe this is the... With the getaway package, you'll really get that deserted island... Was he holding that in, wait, was he hold that in his mouth? Package, you'll really get oh, that no. deserted island bang for your buck. Especially with only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. But our hope is to eventually invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. Yeah! That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. Ah. Uh, cool. And in some cases, you may be able to invite Michael some Keaton residents yourself. It's a bird. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to build additional facilities on uh, the island. Ah, nook's cranny. Cable Examples sisters. include a museum showcasing the rich ecosystem on the island. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, it's so pretty. A shop full of ready-made furniture and goods. Oh, sweet, you're gonna work out. Yourself. I'm interested in a sandbag. I love you, sandbag. Clothing and fashion items. They look a little porcupine. And a campsite. Or hedgehog. Where you can invite guests for recreational purposes. Hoping to enrich our wow. residents' lives and foster a sophisticated culture on the island by gradually adding shops and facilities with a little help from some connections our CEO made in the past. <laughs> with a little help some of that mobile game currency. <laughs> that money we made, we made so much money. The Resident Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper building. Cool. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the main departments of Nook Inc. We can and will offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving services for your house or local facilities. Ah, cool. Also... <gasps> there she is! Hi, Isabel. For remodeling, we'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. Ninten. We're hoping to accept not only new residents, but also any guests who are tentatively paying a visit to the island. First of all, tourists are always welcome. Ah. In these cultural exchanges, we can show visitors what makes our island so special, while simultaneously learning about customs we aren't familiar with. Cute. Ooh. We're actively accepting any traveling merchants who can offer up items that cannot be crafted on the island. Hey, need a little, need a little tissue there. Get some kicks. And eventually, we will host a variety of events for you to take part in, such as fishing tourneys. Oh yeah, the fishing beaver guys. At the plaza in front of resident services. Through free updates, we plan to introduce special events with seasonal guests and more. Cool. We hope you'll continue to enjoy I like free our updates. Services. We're sure you'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. 
But here at Nook, Inc., we really want our residents to create a one-of-a-kind island that they're proud to call their home. To help you develop such a place and realize your creative <laughs> vision, Neat. we're able to offer you a range of additional services. These include ways to help you and your fellow residents get from point A to point B. Mm. By That's building expensive. bridges and slopes, you'll be able to comfortably walk around the island without relying on handmade tools mm. like vaulting poles and ladders. Ah, I see. Little and things, but... Once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. Woo! Get the helmet! You can use it to freely pave your own path. Ah, yes. Mercinus. That, that's so cool. <gasps> Got a little playground. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. Oh, wow. Look at that. Including rivers and cliffs. <laughs> Damn. Truly make a one of a kind island, huh? Look at that. With your very own infrastructure maintenance and construction permits, you can flex your creative muscle across wow. the island. That's so cool. Most of them to make your island your dream home. Pretty. As you've seen today, the Deserted Island Getaway Package offers you a wild new life surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. Woo! Or we can lead a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. Oh, God, is that Jar Jar? Oh, wait, it was an alligator. The choice is Wow. Yours. There's a lot of stuff in there. What kind of life do you want to live? Aw. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, wish me a happy birthday. Island getaway package wow. by Nook, Inc. Your departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. I didn't see Bob anywhere. We're looking forward to meeting you all Look at big fish. on the island. I was hoping Bob would show up. I don't even know if Bob's actually confirmed for this game. He better be. Thank you for all of your invited, undivided attention. I think you have a good picture of the getaway package, huh? I'm sure some of you have already decided to make the move. Others might still be thinking it over. I hope all of you use the time until our getaway package flight begins to imagine what your life would be like. Dump hundreds and hundreds of your hours into this. Finally, I'm sure many of you still have questions. Hmm? We have anticipated some specific ones. My staff has compiled these into a frequently asked sec question segment for part three. Let's have a look. Okay. Can I play the game together with my family on a single no. Nintendo Switch <laughs> system? With one Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. The maximum number of residents for an island is eight. Each user can register one resident. And each resident can, of course, build their own house. Cool. Does the game support Amiibo? Uh, Probably, yes. yes. The game supports Amiibo figures and Amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing what, what do you think, bitch? Bunny! Yeah, that's right. It was just, it's just Bunny, not Bonnie. Bunny. You can also invite these familiar faces to Photopia, an island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and create a photo shoot. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's cute. We plan to support additional characters in the future. I see some memes out of that shit. Do you have any more information about visiting friends? While visiting no, other next question. online, you can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. Hmm. These features can be restricted via parental yeah, controls. In order to protect the environment of your island, some tools like axes and shovels are forbidden in visits with friends. Ah, so you can't fuck up their island. <laughs> However, friends who are registered as best friends can use these tools. It's no problem. Ah, uh, okay. Please use this feature when interacting with your closest friends. That's cool. 
What if I lose Smart my way to do it. Data? You're screwed. Animal Crossing New Horizons does not support the Save Data Cloud feature. Really? However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special theme system? <laughs> really? Wow, okay. <laughs> Why? What? We don't use the cloud service because we're Nintendo. Why would we, right? To go along with the game? Yes, a special edition yes, the Minty One theme Eevee system order this. will be released on March 13th, a week before the game launches. A separate matching carrying case will be available That's the cute. same day. Nook Inc. supervised the console design for your playing pleasure. Will there be any free updates after launch? Yes. We, we just said free that, stupid. After the game launches, and we'll continue to provide free seasonal events throughout the year. The first free update will be on launch day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special event in April. Easter! Also, we're planning to roll out a special Jesus visits your camp. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. Oh, Lord. Oh. Probably be making use of that Details then. will be announced at a later date from the official Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account, so stay tuned. Neat! Once again, thanks so much for attending our information session. Just one final tidbit. After this presentation, I'll start sharing info directly on the Desert Island Live via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. Yes, yes, I'd certainly appreciate a follow. Look very much forward to meeting you all on the island on March 20th. Lovely new horizon waits us all. Yeah! And Isabel's here. Cute. All right. It looks great. Looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait. <laughs> Reggie. All right. That looks looks great. Looks like a lot of fun. I I think what makes these games so like enjoyable is that it, it is sort of that feeling of like like a second life, right? Like those like th that's what like those games, right? Second life and the Sims and things. What make those so engaging and fun? It's similarly what you kind of see here, that feeling of like, you're really taking like a cool trip and an adventure into some other place and living your life there. Um, but uh, you know, in addition to that, it's just also the really amazing art design, the adorable characters, the great sound effects and music and stuff that just really build the experience. Um, and just the, the plethora of things that you can do. And I know that, I mean, I've been just playing the mobile version and that's when I heard pretty much a dumbed down version of like what the original game was. So this will really be my first time checking out a full length version, a full game version of an Animal Crossing game. So, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. It looks all fun. I didn't see Bob though. I really wanted to see Bob in that trailer. I want to see him come out. He's smoking a blunt and he's just like slapping some ass and get into some shit. <laughs> I'm going to bet it's probably random though who you encounter, right? So I'm going to have to look for Bob. I'm going to have to find him somewhere. If Evie ends up getting Bob and I don't get him, I'm, I'm going to find a way to steal him from her island. I actually wonder if that's possible. I wonder if you could like trade villagers or something. Maybe, I don't know. I'll make a Goldie as well. And also like the, the, the there's the bunny, the, uh, this, there's bunny, that's the red one. Uh, and then there's Dottie. I really like Dottie also a lot. Uh, cause she's also kind of sassy and I like that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this little, uh, this little fun extra today. This little bonus reaction video. If you're wondering, this is going to be the only video for today. It is. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been exactly the most punctual with some of my most recent videos. Uh, these long RPGs and stuff, these super long videos started to get to me a little bit. And it's just kind of been slight burnout maybe from them, which is kind of why I wanted to do this one today. Just something a little shorter and a little just easier to get done. I will try to, to get myself back into gear though for you guys, because uh, I know you guys want to see more Fire Emblem and of course more Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, Remind as well. Uh, I appreciate your patience though. Uh, I will try my best to try to get myself back into gear, though, and get you guys those daily videos that you love. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed this little video, and I look forward to live streaming this game when it uh, gets released. And of course, may I can invite some of you penguins over to my new island once I get past like the tutorial stage and stuff. So, but anyway, as always, till next time, guys. Stay classy, penguins.